Hello everyone, I'm Social Democrat Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Fear Reich, playing as a good old USA. So let's address a few comments. So, um, I've had people who want me to play as perhaps several different nations in Europe, including maybe France, maybe the Ottomans, which I'll talk about in just a little bit, and maybe reforming the Roman Empire in it. What happened to the guy with the coat? Uh, I mean they're Vulcus now, and I might play as Italy someday in Fear Reich. That sounds like a lot. Like a lot of fun. Actually, that sounds like a lot of fun. What happened to the guy with the coat? That fur coat was so good. Why'd you get rid of that guy? No. Ah, uh, why? Oh, well. Anyways. Um, I do want to talk about this. I had a subscriber say I should do the Megali idea for Greece. I don't want to upset the borders too much. I mean, Greece already puppeted the Ottomans. So, in exchange for right now, I just gave Greece just Hudavendigar. As well as Izmit. It's not much. It's like 1.2 million people around that much. And I made them court just to give a little bit more of the Megali idea, just because it's cool. And if you looked it up, like our timeline 1919, this was the idea of Greece owning more of the historical areas of the Byzantine Empire. But that's pretty much all I'm going to do about that. I don't want to take off like Afyon. That'd be too much. That'd just be a little bit too much. So I think this will be good to satisfy pretty much anyone for this. For now, um, also, Europe's on, on, in war, just Eastern Europe. The Polish Republic, the Intermarium, is at war with the Third International. Uh, using mass media, oh, they're fighting the Japanese as well. Oh, actually, you're fighting the Finns, Romanians, Latvians, Lithuanians, Poles, and Swedes. Swedes, what are you doing? Social Democrat, you're getting old, Gustav V. Uh, cool, that's pretty cool. But, incorporation of Lithuania, not bad. Obviously, these guys have way more divisions and manpower, but they're also trying to fight the Japanese. And... Are they... Oh, they hello, hello, Hito. Uh, you guys are doing okay for now-ish, so... We'll see what happens. They're not having a good time. We are trying to finish off Mexico, of course. And I told my guys, for the most part, just kind of stop attacking so much. In the south, we're doing okay. In the north, we were, we were you know, trucking along pretty darn hard, so... I need to reorganize my soldiers up north. So, don't attack, don't attack. We don't want to waste lives. Uh, this is probably a bad idea. Oh, now that's a good idea. Just hurry up, destroy them. Awesome. And I want you guys to refresh your front lines. There you go. That'd be great. You guys, be more balanced. and for Just be more balanced. That's really all I ask you to do. Because we've lost around 200,000 guys. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. But, I mean, compared to 2 million... Not bad. Not bad. Um, post this, though, I'm not really sure what to do. Seeing as the Volcus, the Southern Menace from Mexico, is pretty much the main thing for the United States. I know we can get involved into a war against Canada and the British Empire. But Europe's pretty peaceful. Ever since Germany decided to go with a normal focus tree under libertarian socialists and stuff like that... Well, they've been pretty darn peaceful. I mean, the French Republic isn't doing it much at all. They have a lot of puppets, of course, but... I would love it if they would do something else, like... Can you go to war with Germany, or do Franco-Italian cooperation or something? Or go to war with anyone? It's been a pretty peaceful Europe. I really don't like this. Europe should be on fire. Alone we are weak. Cool. In the shadow of the king. Alright, that's kind of cool. But Italy, you are the ones, honestly, who probably have the most capability of going and blowing up Europe right now. So please, please, blow up Europe. Just make it go kaboom. Oh, fi doctrine finalization. All right, cool. Um, solidify the charter, huh? And I do have a little bit of American coffee here. Mmm, tasty. So we got some of this stuff. We could probably use some of that stuff, too. So, if anything, I mean, this potentially could be the final chapter in this campaign. Probably not. Maybe, though. Just because I'm not sure what they do else. I mean, I could go to war with South America, but... South America is South America. You really don't want to get involved too much in South America. It's still the Americas. I might just go to war with Canada and the British Empire, depending on what they are doing. Reinforce Scapa Flow. Military Junta. God save the king. They went with ending intervention... Towards integration for Ireland. State of Westminster, okay. An empire of unity. Reorganize the Dominion Parliaments. 
An Imperial Federation. Cool. We got a little bit more political power. Can't really do much with our political power, though. As I've said several times, we need more steel. So, open markets? We don't believe in open markets. We believe, believe, believe in regulated markets. Look at all those military factories we're building. Ah, now we have actual steel. Good. Oh, we need more tanks. Holy cow, we need more tanks. We need a lot more things of everything. Oh, 1936. Um, that wouldn't be bad to do now. Just because it's going to be a long time before we can get 19... 40s battleships, so do that. Wait, uh, we don't need two of those. We don't need two of those either. We don't need that either. Speed, I don't want your speed to be too low, so... Uh, that'll be okay. Cannons are alright to do. Fire controls, that's better. Radar 2 is better. Engine 2 is, that's much better. Much better. Armor 1? I need armor 3 for battleships. That'd be nice. Uh, you know what, screw it. Give me those heavy things back. We're still pretty fast. Awesome. That's actually not too bad. 1936 heavy ships. They're actually pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. As long as you you are careful with them. Of course. There you go. Awesome. Alright. Are the soldiers ready? Not exactly. Collins, he's pretty, pretty darn experienced. We just need a lot of guns. Oh, we need a lot of guns. Holy cow. Support equipment and tanks. So give us a little bit more time, and actually, you know what, screw it, just go right ahead. They have like no divisions here. Even though we're out of guns, they're really out of men and equipment. Holy, oh, the 51st state, nice, Baja California, thank you for joining me. Uh, next up, we could do the Navy stuff, we're gonna wait. Integrate Puerto Rico, not a state, but an integrated holding, semi-autonomous, but under American jurisdiction. The reinforcing of this new Puerto Rico represents a large step in the defense of American values. Hmm. And I guess I can go to war with the Philippines if we need to. I mean, it's not like I have to. But they should be under us regardless because they're the Philippines. Right, Vincent? I don't have a lot of divisions. They basically don't even have a navy. We're not allied to anybody, so that's kind of nice. 300 factories, not enough. Not enough. A lot of repairs getting needed to get done. <clears throat> 50. Good, good, good. Even more factories. Throw one more on there, too. Make it in Arkansas because... Never mind. Missouri. Missouri is a weird state. That's a really weird state. That's okay, though. Some states have to be weird. Missouri just, it's like, it wants to be southern, but it's kind of like midwestern. It's, 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 an, odd, it's an odd place. You guys aren't winning here. That's not great, but whatever. At this point, it's not bad. Oh, some more ships. Cool. San Juan. It's only a colony state. Hmm. Let's see. How many divisions am I making? 20? We can probably cut down, honestly. Go down to 12. Since we ha will have this main army, we're still building more units, but that does help us with our deficit of our infantry equipment. And once this war is over, I will make sure that all my units have two battalions of artillery in them. So we use less infantry equipment for, for now. You can help them out here. Keep grinding away, guys. Courtney Hodges, you got anything for us? No, but you're level 6. That's pretty good. Lucian Truscott. Fortress Buster. That's not bad. I can wait, though. Ah, uh, Ciudad de Mexico is gone and dusted with. Thank you for playing Central America and South America. So, like I said in the end of last episode, I'm going to make Costa Rica the special puppet here. So, Costa Rica, you get basically all of South America. Central America. Not South America, but Central America. I'm going to go ahead and just take all states. I will release Mexico as a puppet. And Haiti, you did great, but you didn't do very much for us. And I'm probably going to be messing around with this just a little bit. Uh, yeah, do that. Why not? Cool. Now, I want to make sure this is probably against game rules, but whatever. Just go ahead and core this. Uh, you probably don't already have cores on this, which is good. Core all those states. Just because I don't want them to release these guys as a puppet. Yeah, this is kind of unfair, but this is my Central America. There you go. Now you will not release them. Ah, the Republic of Costa Rica. Very good, very good. And do we get an event for Mexico, please? Oh, I guess we're doing this now. Go ahead and change this over to artillery. Awesome. Now we have oh, Occupation Mexico. Five two dot D. Maintain military occupation. Wow, that hurts us quite a bit. A collaborationist regime is good for us. 
That'd be good. Yeah, United Mexican States. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to No Faction. Awesome. And they're led by... Arnie Narang. Yeah, Social Democrats. Hello. And you have a generic focus tree. That's okay. Ah, the end of the Mexican threat. Very good, very good. You guys, I'm going to put you up here. I'm not sure what Canada's going to do. Uh, why is he, Why you stop? Huh. You stop right there. 80 cancels Lendley, so that's okay. We are out of a lot of support equipment and tanks. That's okay. Integrate to Puerto Rico. And then... It isn't too late. Put Southern Volcus in their place. I can annex them. It isn't too late. Let's do that just because we've already... Restoration of the client state. A last ditch attempt. If, we, if they will not turn back from their fate, they will make them. If it doesn't... If this glitches out or, like, they'll go to war with me... I'm just going to annex them using console command. That's not cool, man. I already did... I already took you out fair and square. And you're already my puppet, so... Yeah. Cool, you guys. More subs? I love the submarines. Um, if we want to invade Puerto Rico, we're going to have to come all the way to Guam. Make sure that you are a big boy naval base, big boy radar base, big boy air base, and a big boy naval base, but also more infrastructure naval base. We're running out of things to build. Ah, decryption, very nice, 1940. Ah, uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Radar. Of course, we need some more atomic research. That's muy bueno. Muy bueno. 1940s heavy ship hull. Very good. Very good. Cruiser hulls. Ooh, submarines. Those are actually pretty easy to research, but let's get some torpedoes first. Awesome. Ooh, you guys need a little bit more repairs. That's fine with me. That's totally cool with me. We are going to need a lot of factories. So, next up, I could do desperate defense, but we're America. We don't need that much more population. So, modern blitzkrieg. More organization for infantry and organization for tanks, which I do not really have any yet of. Oh boy. So how is the war in Europe going? Uh, it's going alright. How's the war in Asia going? It's going alright as well. Oh yeah, you're a puppet, kind of. Oh. Not looking good over there. Let's even go to war with the Philippines. So, shippies. My shipperinos. Flop, flop, flop. I want you all to come to Hawaii. Thank you. Everyone, please come down. And we shall choose... Submarinos. Oh, and you know, I could probably do this all with Alexander Patch and Lucian Trescott. So give me half of you guys. Uh, you know what? Give it even less. Come to Kawam. I don't want to ruin supply here. It's level 5, 2, 3. It's not bad. Still not enough factories, though. Never enough factorinos. Uh, infrastructure, though. Hmm. We need more infrastructure. Build the southern states up, just because I haven't built them as... I haven't built that many factories in the southern states compared to, the, like, parts of the Midwest, as well as parts of the Northeast. So, uh, don't forget Rhode Island. It isn't too late. Good. And the question of foreign holdings. We lost the Philippines quite some time ago. They had many grievances with us, but the president has assured a redress. And besides, they were surely much better under our control than alone in the Pacific, surrounded by vouchers. Happy 1941, everyone. We're going to get... Oh, oh. Hold on. On a quiet, warm day in California, a truck rolled to a checkpoint on the Mexican-American border. The site started the stationed... The site started the stationed men in a fury of activity flurry of activity. Such a thing hadn't really, that's spelled wrong, holy cow, been seen since the tightening of extradition laws months earlier. One of the privates called to the truck, gun at the ready. The truck did not come to a halt, even though several rounds of ammunition were fired into it, it burst through the wooden fence, leading from one stretch of the road to the other. The fences which stretch for, stretch for miles from either side of the checkpoint as an additional safety precaution quaked. The private, too caught up in seeing the other truck through in a shower of metal, turned into the rising sun to see several other trucks emerging through the mirage. They were on a different course, however, directly to sea. Directly out to San Diego. Um, word of the attack reached Washington shortly thereafter, and the military not at long after that. What the heck? No. Third Mexican Amer- Third. Please tell me I'm not at war with Mexico. I don't want to be at war with Mexico. Okay, I have war goal. Okay. That's okay. I don't mind having a war goal. I don't want to go to war with you again. You are my puppet. I just killed two million- Well- Probably more like 1.7 million Mexicans. I don't want to kill any more. Come on, guys. 
Yeah, that's that's cool and all, but how about we don't kill each other for now? How about you just obey my word because I uh, liberated all of you, even though you were attacking me the entire time. You're never getting Baja California back anyway, so so you can try, but mm -mm, mm -mm, ain't gonna work. Uh, infrastructure though, I will build up a lot of infrastructure, not just in Mexico, but like all over here. Ah, oh, the roads of America. Some are good, some are bad, and we really don't pay attention to them too often. At least trying to build them up. Oh, yeah, go. Cool. And then we'll focus on Mexico a little bit. As we station our soldiers out there, get ready to go to war. God dang it, stop. I keep clicking the wrong things. Good job, Costa Rica. I'm glad, you know, it pays you to ally with me, oh, I still own part of Cuba, nice, to have a good time with each other. Obviously, as you can tell, we got you some more stuff. Italy, please go kaboom. Deve don't develop the colonies, make them go kaboom. Oh, you're a puppet. Oh, you are Pact of Rome, Mequanent People's State, French Republic, Standardized Production Methods. Oh, you own that area too. Nippon, combined bomber efforts. You don't have a lot of manpower. Soviet Union obviously has... Not a ton, actually, for, considering their size. They're only in, like, volunteer only. You guys have some national populists. All right. Uh, we're still getting your guys out here, which is good. Good air bases. Foreign holdings. Um, all I have left is that one focus and then these others, so I guess we'll do revive the 1928 program. I lose a little bit of political power for much faster capital chip production, screen production, and consumer goods factors for 10%. Ooh, that's not good. Whatever. Doesn't matter. No, you own that. Dutch East Indies is actually like reddish, pinkish, sort of-ish. Dutch people integrated. Oh. Manila. Advanced ship torpedo. Very good. Uh, followed up with some of that good stuff. Now, you guys, three each, two, three come from Guam to invade the Philippines and Cebu, if possible. And then you guys, the other three, will invade from here to... It doesn't really matter. Davao. Should be okay. Should be alright. India is still just a massive mess. Just a huge mess. And you guys are still fighting each other. Holy cow. You know, I really don't like either side here. Oh, man, never mind. I like the D Danish. Here you go. On some more uh, air support. I don't want to give you, like, supplies and stuff, but... I'll give you some air support. 400 planes. 400 planes. Do I have 400 planes in reserve? Naval bombers. That probably won't help too much. Inter a few interwar bombers? Sure. Let y'all deploy. That'd be good. And then just kind of help them in northwest Germany, because... Why the hell not? And they are almost there. Must be a lot of casualties here. Come on. Almost there. You're not even over the UK yet. Okay. Come on. Okay, where are you? Oh, there you are. Taking your sweet time. I know you're bombers, but come on, man. Hmm. And boom! There you go. So, we're helping out with a little bit more air support. How is this even going? Even though we really don't need that extra air support. So, Hamburg Commune. You got a few... Oh, you're on scraping the barrel, no wonder. Improvement campaign, but Denmark has a lot more manpower. And the Entente, they have a weary military, though, but they have a lot more mobile... Well, I got a lot of population. Wow. That should help at least a little bit, but, you know, who knows. Cool. Ah, oh, revive the program. Good. We got subs. Open up the dockyards. Very good. Like it. And then... Ooh, this could be really good to do as well. Landing craft. I like that. Alright, guys. You should be good to go. Now, I will start sending my all my ships here to Guam. Rebase in Guam. Now, we're not attacking yet, obviously. But soon enough. Soon enough. French Indochina. God, Europe's way too peaceful. I don't like this. Ooh, they are doing well against the Finns. They're doing well overall, actually. 
What are the losses for that war? The world only has 42% world tension in 1941. That's way too little. 130,000. Wow. Oh, wait. The Continental Entente is fighting the Soviet Union? Oh. I didn't realize that. You guys have lost. You guys have lost a lot. Holy cow. Poland. Guys, what's going on? Danish Hamburger War. Quarter million versus half a million. Is it really worth it? 750,000 people dead because you guys can't break over the river or kill each other off? Whew. Guys, guys, guys. Y'all crazy. Y'all bunch of crazy people over there. Now, support equipment's doing better. We're probably doing better on guns. Yeah, we're doing way better on guns now. And artillery as well. So, we could probably do, like, that. Do another 5. Do another 10 from here. Nice. That gives us more of everything. Dual purpose secondary batteries. 1941. I'll put, please. Thank you. Okay, so if the United Kingdom's not going to do anything... Ah, oh, renew interest. Come on, man. Oh, there goes... Uh-oh. There goes Finland. Uh, do you not have... You guys have orders, that's good. Are the ships here? Up, oh, good. You should have more than enough range to do all these areas. Should. And we're gonna need that as well. Four areas. Convoy escorts. Open up the dockyards. We're gonna do reaching into the Pacific next for more naval bases. Uh, nothing for Guam here, that's kinda of disappointing. That's okay. Let you guys get more organized first, more situated. I'm glad I don't have to kill off Japan. That'd be kind of annoying. Actually, do they have a... Do they have focuses against me? Jet efforts? Uh, they might. End of the San Francisco Summit. Well, they didn't go that way. So, they went to the right here. Draw closer to Berlin. Huh. Let's do the Netherlands. Suggest tripartite act. Or pact. Operation dress. Strike the communist threat. Unite against the Reds. Russo-Japanese co-prosperity sphere. Defeat the cliques. Korean project. Oh, I've never played as Japan. I've played as Japan on this channel once. Cooperate with America. Can't do that because you didn't go this way. Huh. Operation Kingslayer. Interesting. It's kind of interesting. Operational rivalty. Can't do that because you did... Uh... Nanshin Ron. Oh, there goes Lithuania. Uh oh. Alright, did you guys. I know I didn't send a bunch of bombers here, but that should at least help a little bit, right? I need to do more air doctrine stuff. You got the nation. Yeah. It's going to last forever. Who cares? Let's just go ahead and go to war with the Philippines. They're not that strong. And the soldiers. Are off. Convoy escorts, good, good, good. They only have 23 divisions, which is more than, almost more than, which is definitely more than what I sent over here. Uh, if you can help out, help out if you can. Hopefully, we can at least land somewhere. Maybe 23 divisions is quite a bit. So, Ooh, fire brigades, good. More organization. Let's get some. Backhand blow! Oh, we're not winning there. Reaching into the Pacific. That's good. And then, coastal fortifications. Awesome. Can you attack Cebu and succeed? Probably not. This is going to be require a little bit more intuition. So, I'm going to grab you three. Our guys are going to retreat back to Guam, probably. And that's okay. Can't win everything. You're going to attack right there. It's probably a bad place to attack. And that's okay. You're not winning, so go ahead and hold. Uh, you know what? I might just make these... I could make these 20 combat with divisions. That might be better. So they have more attack on them. Because I don't want you guys to do come from there. Since we're going to attack that tile, it would be good to attack right there. Because when we get attacked from this side, nothing's really going to happen, so... Yep, not yep. Go and do some convoy raiding for now. That'd be good. And we can send our subs. Oh, what the heck? There you go. Uh, you guys, you done great over there. But come to Hawaii. 
and then do some convoy raiding from here, 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 here. Not bad. Let our guys get around and organized. These guys gotta get across the Pacific anyways, it doesn't really matter. So, ooh, military factories, very good, very good. More tanks, sure. Even more tanks. Even though there's really not much else for me to do, so. Uh, wait. Please don't try to invade. No, you hold. You hold. Go back. Go back. We are trying to build up the infrastructure here. Oh, we already built it up to max levels. That's great. Oh, and the Soviets just got way more influence in Europe. That's disgusting. That's really disgusting. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, wait. Oh, you're in the Entente. You're fighting the Soviet E. Oh. Quarter million manpower. Colombia declared war in Venezuela. That's not bad. That's actually a really good holding spot. Holy cow. Are we still mobilizing? No? Seems like we were. Uh-oh. No, oh, I sunk some convoys. Good. Good. We've lost 6,000. Eh, versus 1,000. That's not good. Got all these guys in. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. And we're done with the national focuses. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we pretty much did everything that we could so far. Not bad. And for now, yeah, go and suppress subjects. Got nothing better to do with that. Alright, we're waiting for these last three divisions to get over here. Bolivia has done that. What might help, actually, if I attack over here and take the... or take one of these islands. Hmm. You got a lot of convoys. That's so I'm going to blow up a lot of their ships, so... Lots and lots of convoys. Blow up all their soldiers. They've lost more than we have now. Now I feel better about ourselves. Let them get on there, let them get on there. Yeah, I know supply probably isn't great in just Guam, but that's okay. Give them a little bit more time to get more organization. I know there's a lot of guys here, whatever. And we got more political power. What do we do with that? We get more tank stuff, like tank manufacture? No, artillery it is. Artillery it is. Now this is going to be a distraction over here. This is the main area where we want to attack. So, go right ahead, guys. <clears throat> Good luck. You're going to need it. You're going to be starting for supplies just for a little bit. We got landing craft, which is really good. And then... Chance to receive critical hits goes down. Awesome. I need to do more air docking stuff, like I said. Davao. We need Davao. I wonder how strong they are. Oh, they, they're pretty pretty beefy boys. Keep Just keep them distracted for now. Good. Immediately begin building a naval base and some forts. And then boom. Good. You three. Just hold. Or if anything, actually. You know what? You three hold right there. And do that. And we will build this area up as well. With forts. You guys don't move that way. I want one guy here, one guy there, and one guy there. Let time go on. We've landed successfully. Now we just gotta hold and build, 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 build. Actually, naval base stuff. This helps build naval bases just 10% faster, but that's that's okay with me. You guys can uh, hold. That's okay. Take that off. Thank you. And just in case, build a lot of naval bases around there, and then forts. Great. That's going to take some time to get done, but that's okay. As long as we get at least one thing of supply here, that'll be worth it. And we might be able to attack Davao now. Um, resources? Oh, yeah, we'll do some resource extraction. You know what? Get rid of your attack order. I don't want you to attack. But I want my other divisions that are around here to attack eventually. So, you guys come from Guam. Get rid of that. Come from Guam. To attack Davao. They might not have any divisions down here, which would be good. Nice, we got a fort. And it'll take about 20 days for us to get a port in here. That's not bad. 20 days to build a port, a level 1 port. Not great, not bad. 
Not bad whatsoever. And we've over 300 factories. Very good. Very, very good. And they are back here. We've lost... Nine th Actually, that's not bad. They've lost more than us. Oh, you guys. I already took you guys out and gave you some other places. Oh, you're getting attacked. That's not ideal. Oh, that's why you have several different ports being built up at the same time. Go ahead and attack. You might be able to, actually. You might be able to take the vow now. Since these guys won't be able to get supplies. Well, they get a little bit because it's a supply point there, but... You never know. Yeah, let them... Oh, that's we're attacking with 12 divisions. Holy cow. Come on, guys. Get down here. It's... Oh, do we... we have a port. We have a port. We are getting supplies in here. Not very many. But we are getting supplies, and... The A... Uh-oh. spaghetti -o. Venezuela, Colombia, sign white peace. Very good, very good. Now we're going to start throwing some of these other bad boys. Over here. And I'll throw you right there. Awesome. Become a little bit more aggressive like that. That would be great. Go kill that division off. Immediately attack that way. Good. Devow. Just do something like that. That, 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 that. And come over to there. To there, to there. Oh, there goes it. Wow, the Beijing government early fell. Wowzers. Ah, uh, getting attacked. That's fine. We've killed off 67,000. Pretty good. Oh, Japan's pretty strong. Japan is pretty darn strong, as so is the Soviet Union. Good old Soviet Union. They have 21 divisions, 800,000 manpower, not bad. Now, I'll throw all of you guys. There's no airport around here, airbase. That's not bueno. There you go. Get some radar. And we're already building up enough stuff like that. We don't need that, or that, or this, or that. Or even that, really. We don't really need it. Awesome. Soon we'll have a bombers here, hopefully. Can you attack and win? You might not be able to, but you might. If it gave you a force attack, you might be able to crack them. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. It's a little worrying. We do have just a little bit of air support. Just a wee bit. We have an air base. Awesome. Throw the close air support down there. Fire drills, cool. And then do that. Ah, 321 days. That's not, uh, it's not bad. Oh, finally we have a tank. We finally have a tank division. It only took us until 1941 in August. Or October, I mean. Not August. Seriously, we can't even win here. Come on. That's disappointing. Stop attacking. Stop, 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 stop. We will continue to attack very soon, but we need more planes here. Bombers. And I will end the episode soon-ish. Ground crews, thank you. And what happens if we attack now? Looks like they don't have enough supplies, really. They can't really get enough supplies in there. Oh, there goes there goes Europe. It took almost until the end of 1941 for Europe to be on fire. I guess better late than never. Of course, Denmark's still having problems up there. Very cool, very cool. Backhand blow, awesome. Atomic research, modern Blitzkrieg, looks good. Artillery. Should have done that earlier for more soft attack. You guys are doing all right. Doing all right. Everyone push a little bit more. Fighters. I could probably help. If I were to build up a bigger airbase here. Which I already am. Which is good. Awesome. And we are breaking across now. 
Coast Guards, gonna need you. Oh god, 50 of them. Holy cow. Alright, they've lost 92,000. We've lost 25,000. Not bad, not bad. Come on, you guys got this. We got enough air support around here. What can I do with this? War propaganda against the Philippines. Service propaganda. Um, I want to... Exp I have expansive welfare distribution to increase my popularity with social democrats. Social democracy. Sounds like fun. Alright. Philippines have lost 100,000. They're like 20% of the way towards capitulation. Not bad, not bad. Really? There's not much to do as the United States in the current build of Führerreich point zero point three point three. There's not really much to do. I mean, once you defeat the Mexicans and the Central Americans, there isn't a whole ton you can do. Um, yeah, there really isn't a whole ton. I mean, yeah, you can go to war with Europe, but that's just kind of manually doing it, and if you want to do it like that. Go ahead and go a little more extreme, guys. You guys could take these guys out, no problem. There you go. Easy. Oh, and go right ahead. Ah, oh, there goes the Protector of Tunisia. Oh. Excavation 1. How about we do that? And, oh, there goes Italy. They are really trying to go to war with everyone now. Gonna go to war with the Republic, go to war with the Greeks, go to war with the Turks. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But it's a little too late for me. Honestly, this is probably the, this is the final episode in this campaign. United States is alright. Not bad. Not great. Not too, not too difficult to play as though. And we're having problems in South America. Oh, Philippines already fell. Awesome. So guys, um, like I said, it's fun playing as the United States. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the future with Führerreich, especially as the United States. It's not bad, but still needs a little bit more work with these focus trees, perhaps, and available options once you're on your feet, once you become an industrial giant once again and pretty much beat the Mexicans. Now, I know that we can get involved with the UK, but they don't want war, which I'm cool with, you know? You don't war, don't want war, you don't want war. It was a problem, I guess, when I tried to use a Valkyrie submod for Germany. Now they're not really doing anything. But, hey, Italy Italy at least became interesting. But, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this campaign. And if you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And, and tomorrow I will see you probably playing in a different mod. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day.